Today, January 13th, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of 12 new cases of COVID-19. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 502. 11 of the cases are St. Lucia nationals ranging in age from 1 year to 73 years. They are from Castries, Babano and Grosley districts. These individuals were seen at the Community Respiratory Clinic where they were assessed and tested for COVID-19. They were placed in quarantine by health practitioners pending the receipt of their test results. Arrangements have been made to place these individuals into isolation. Epidemiological links have been established for five of those cases thus far and investigations are ongoing by the contact tracing team to determine the possible existence of epidemiological links for the other six cases. One of the 12 cases is a non-national, which has been recorded as the country's sixth COVID-19 related death. The individual is a 52-year-old male, a national of the United Kingdom. He arrived in St. Lucia on December 30th, 2020, and died on January 9th, 2021. And he was not in care at the time of his passing. Condolences are extended to the family and loved ones of, these indiv of this individual on their recent loss. The Ministry of Health also reported four recoveries for today, January 13th, 2021. There are currently 177 active cases and all are stable and none of them are requiring critical care. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we once again take the opportunity to remind everyone of the importance of remaining well and maintaining the behaviors to reduce the exposure to COVID-19 virus and the possibility of becoming infected. Frequently, wash your hands with flowing water and soap, wear a mask when in public places and ensure that it covers your mouth, your nose and your chin. Maintain a distance of six feet from others when possible and use a bleach solution to sanitize frequently touched surfaces and frequently handled objects. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, keep away from others and seek medical care at your closest community respiratory clinic for an assessment. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.